So, what do you make of the place? Well, there's certainly not enough drink yet, but the hooch is underway. It is good to have a roof over our head. Agreed. And while we don't have drink, the food's good there at least. But, speaking of food, we're going to need more to feed the animals and, well, to keep the Sheik happy. Yes, I have been thinking about that. Some of the creatures you described down in the swamps, well, they sound rather meaty. Are you suggesting we go hunting? I am suggesting just that. Uh, not myself, of course, but uh, the rest of you undoubtedly will be able to achieve that task. I reckon we could. The swamp turtles, they didn't seem that aggressive. They could provide a lot of meat. Also, a chance to hone our blades. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna need that. The band of bones have been quiet for a while, but they're still there. Yes, I'm sure it won't be long before they try to make an attempt on one of our walls. Yeah, let's just hope they don't try anything when we're away from home. Yes, yes indeed. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Kinshi. Now, before we go any further, something that I've noticed is that, uh, yeah, our batteries were empty when I started recording today. Uh, for whatever reason, the charge just wasn't there, so that's really unfortunate. You will notice that we did add some signs to here. I just used Shift F12 to do that if you're looking to do that in your own game. It allows you to access items that you can't otherwise build. That's how we've got these funky looking signs for the punchy gar, which I'm pretty damn happy with but yeah the power situation isn't fantastic so that does mean that overnight everything's kind of going to be shutting down which is not super awesome for us i'm tempted to go and chuck down another one of these bad boys because really there's no reason that we shouldn't at this stage getting a little bit of extra wind generation is going to be worthwhile now these are pretty lightweight overall they don't provide a huge amount of power, but they do give us something. And let's see if we can position it in a roundabout like that. So it's going to be iron plates and electrical components. We still have a lot of each of those. Well, the other things I'm not so sure. Apparently there are no building materials available, but that's fine. We're full on iron plates, so that's no issue. Over a hundred there. So yeah, these things have been producing perfectly fine. We have a surplus of iron plates, which that is a really nice change. And if we're looking inside here, we have Sand Park and Hong all working nice and hard in here. Park though, I think is just kind of chilling out. I don't think he's able to do anything at this stage and Oh no, it sounds like someone's going to get arrested. There are sirens in the air. But yes, Park has been working on blades for us, uh, but I think he probably isn't at the moment because he is just lacking the fabric to do so. This is his workstation down here. Obviously, lots of iron plates, but as always, the, the, yeah, the hemp side of things is always falling behind a little bit. Everyone is rushing to try and get these welds built over this side here. So, I mean, that's going to be somewhere that we can use some iron plates. That's for certain. So they're going to be very busy running backwards and forwards working on those but there should be a lot of iron plates here because this is effectively where all the wells were yesterday yeah before we tore everything else apart um you will notice that the outhouses are gone yeah unfortunately they couldn't stick around there were some of you that actually did kind of cotton on to the fact that people were getting stuck in there quite often and it turns out that outhouses are just people traps yeah yeah so we need to watch out for that because uh, unfortunately they trap people and they can never get out again. Yeah, so we've gone ahead and dismantled those for now and we're going to run with the idea that there are outhouses, latrines, stuff like that around. Now sand has decided to chill around here just for the time being because there is no fabric so he's not making armor right now. That's okay buddy because we are going to be going on that expedition very soon. We should check in with our overall food though. Really we're looking pretty good here. We have a lot of dust witches and those dust witches keep us fed for a fair amount of time. What I worry about though are our poor animals who keep on going through all of our food down there so really why we're wanting to go and get meat is for them more than anyone else 
So we could take our entire iron district to go on this little expedition, but I think that might be a little bit of overkill. So we're going to look at taking a squad, but a squad that's maybe a little bit smaller than that uh, full group. We are going to take sand. We're going to take dog meat along for the ride. And you know what? Let's take one of the other animals. Having a look, Rosie, you're a teen. Bonnie. You're the one that's grown up to be an adult. So we're going to take Bonnie with us to get some combat experience. And then we are going to take some others along for the ride. Saru, you are going to be one that joins us. Green, we need you to stay here, keep an eye on things. I did actually move low into the Katun district because I was thinking about having her as another Tarata, but really, she's just such a good farmer. It'd be very hard to take her away from the Leaf District for too long. But the Iron District is where it's at, and they're the people that we're going to be taking along for the adventure. Obviously, we need Stubbs Mamuso, just in case we run into any kind of spiders in the swamps. He might have a little bit of PTSD going back there, but I'm sure he is going to be able to pull through there. Um, we might... Well, unfortunately, he doesn't have a lot of combat experience, but Hamut... Hamut came from the swamp originally as well. Same with Miu, but uh, I think... Just having them stay back here probably would be for the better. We'll take Ridley, otherwise I feel like she'll complain. And yeah, Oren and Rain and Ruka are also really good warriors for us, but we don't want to take away too many people. Hmm. Oren, you're rocking your chain shirt. We're going to go ahead and take you along for the ride. And I feel like that's probably a good amount. We are going to be Gary who's going to help us carry everything, but this is the group that we're looking at uh, that is going to be heading on out of here. So, excellent. We're actually under the amount right now. So, no, we're using 486 and we're producing that much power. So, we're keeping the lights on, I think, kind of, kind of on and off. I mean, things are on for now, but what we'll probably see is um, just reduced efficiency because of the lack of power. Come daytime, that will be rectified. However, it would be nice to have enough to be able to make it through the night, but this is why we've got these giant battery banks, so that we can make it through the night. I think it was just like a weird loading thing that caused that to happen. And again, we are right on the edge. Yeah. Um, Luckily, they aren't intersecting each other, and they're producing just fine. Uh, however, adding these is going to require more power. Yeah, so it's a bit of a catch. <laughs> We're actually doing pretty good on water at the moment. We're completely filled up here. Um, I have just asked for more of that to go down. However, we're not producing too much water right now. Now I'm saying that there's, there is still some there. But really, everyone's very busy with construction. There are a lot of materials to move around, stuff to move down here. So they are staying busy. And Sand is actually doing a little bit of work here. Um, most of our people are equipped with either specialist grade or high grade mercenary leather armor now. So I'm super happy that we've been able to produce that kind of quality of equipment for them. Um, and obviously, Park's Blades, they're the best around as well. Well, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. But yeah, I think I think we should head off on this mission. So we're going to go to Gary, first of all. And we need to grab some food. Gaza, let's see. We're going to take eight dust witches with us. We'll get you to go ahead and run up towards here. Uh, we do have some miscellaneous goods that we should probably drop off. I'm not actually sure. Oh, you were by the front. So he should be able to drop these things off at the moment. We've got some armor, a leather vest, okay, so we can go just drop that off into there for now. No, we can't, damn it. Run over here, buddy. We'll get that dropped off, and then we'll have a look at uh, getting rid of some of these other things here as well. Um, do we have generic storage at the moment? We've got a crossbow locker, two crossbow lockers, in fact. Uh, we've got a fair amount of armor storage, but uh, I don't know if I did put down the general storage boxes in the end. I might not have. You know what? Screw it. Let's just hold on to those for now. That's fine. Just start running back on over towards the bar there, bud. And we'll go and pick up some of this good stuff. Looks like Hong's taking a little bit of rest at Park as, as well. That's fine. I actually took them off construction so that they would concentrate on their jobs. But maybe we can have it just a little bit further down their, uh, their line there. Okay, we'll go ahead and take eight. I feel like that's a sufficient amount, and Gary is going to eat some of those. You see, he didn't eat the whole thing, though, so that's all right. 
yeah, so Park is staying behind. Um, might be controversial, but uh, I think that having him here, being able to be our commander, is going to be more beneficial to us. So let's select everyone here, turn their jobs off, and we are going to move on outside the front of our gates. And look at heading on down towards the swamp. It's four o'clock in the morning, so it should kind of be daytime by the time that we arrive there. And um, I'm happy with this squad. Not too big, not too small, just somewhere nice and in between. Once they're all ready to rock on out of here, we'll look at leaving. It's probably worth looking at this. Okay, we do have some bandit demands, but that's another two days away. The Shit Kingdom will be returning for tribute way faster than I kind of anticipated them to. They seem to show up quite quickly. Oh, Gotaga. So Gotaga is currently following Bonnie. Probably don't want that. How about you just go ahead and bodyguard Hanbu instead? I feel like that's going to be better for you. I think Barker is doing the exact same thing. Yeah. Barker, on Hanbu, please. There we go. Much safer, much better. Let's go ahead and chuck in a quick, quick save. And we're going to be running on down towards the swamp. Uh, we don't have to go too far to reach there. Hmm. We've actually got some folks rocking around there at the moment. So it still says dead here at the exile camp. But uh, I don't know if that's actually the case. We can see some enemies moving on the map there. Uh, we definitely want to grab everyone and just make sure that everyone is running at the same speed as each other. So that we can be good to leave here. And yeah, we've got, we do have some neutral folks still wandering around here. Which that's just, that's just cool. Gary's keeping up, he's just staying a little bit further behind. Um, currently we have them moving like this, like in a big group. I think I'm, I'm tempted to try and go for the caravan line to try it out to see if it's any different. I think that's the enemy group that we can see moving around here. There's definitely something going on there. I think there's bone dogs, yeah. Very, very distant bone dogs. And we can see the swamp not all that far. Yep, well, there we go. Uh, Dust Bandit Camp 94 has been wiped out. I wonder if that was the Dust Bandit Camp that was up in the hills here, the one that keeps on sending people after us. We'll see if they've disappeared here. Note the demands are still on. Um, having a look to see where they are coming from could be worthwhile, but there's part of me that kind of wants to keep them around for a little bit longer because the Dust Bandits are a good way for us to train ourselves. I don't think we can ever really get rid of them. We might be able to. Yeah. Not 100% on that, but we're right at the edge of the swamp already. Um, some of you have recommended potentially making a second uh, location, a second little outpost, and have that be where we kind of get our water from. Not a bad idea, because it really isn't all that far. And uh, who do we have humming away here? I think it might be Stubbs, quite possibly. Yeah. And Stubbs just humming away. <laughs> Saru does not care for it. Uh, I, either Saru or Orin there. Oh no, Saru isn't with us. How did we miss you, Saru? I was so sure you were with us. Well, unfortunately, Saru, we're just going to get you to jump back onto your jobs. That's, that's unfortunate. Yeah. I did not realize that we'd missed her there. Well, we're down one already, but that's gonna be okay. We've got Orin and Ridley and Stubbs, and of course, Sand too. Now, I don't know how deep into the swamp we're going to have to go, but that search for these swamp turtles begins now. Okay, we can see footsteps ahead, and there are attacks going on here. And, oh, okay, we have Swamp Ninjas and Red Sabres going at it. Uh, really not sure how the Red Sabres favor us at the moment. Let's have a look and see. Red Sabres, not super favorable. And the Swamp Ninjas, well, it says that they're ambivalent towards us, but I'm pretty sure that we have been attacked by them before. So best thing that we can do here is probably just kind of wait them out. We really aren't wanting to engage any groups like that. 
so we might have to try and go in another direction, perhaps heading down this way instead. Kind of trying to make our way towards that swamp village. Let us continue. Okay, first sign of trouble. We have some blood spiders just roaming through here. Thankfully, they haven't seen us. Or rather, thankfully, I saw movement before we decided to carry down along this path. Effectively, I've been heading in the direction of Shark. And yeah, we haven't had any luck yet. But then again, they are usually very difficult to see because they're such slow moving creatures that you don't often actually catch them out. We are going to try and move around one of these giant trees here and just change our direction. Maybe heading off this way instead. And unfortunately, we are going to have to partially swim. And this is where the follow speed gets a little bit difficult because, um, yeah. When one person is swimming, others are running, we want to pretty much all get in the water first of all and slowly start to make our way across here. So, most of the swamp turtles that I actually remember seeing like lots of was on the very far side of the swamp, so like down here, which is quite a ways to go, uh, especially with a group as large as this. So I'm hoping that we're going to be able to encounter them just throughout these random little islands spotted throughout here. So far we haven't gotten lucky, but that luck might just turn. Well, we have some swamp raptors. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, not edible. So, yeah. Not what we're looking for, but it is a creature of the swamp. So they're out here, just... Uh, not where we're looking yet. Well, I'm not sure what to tell you. This has been a whole heap of nothing so far. And it's very easy to get turned around in these swamps. We've actually made it over towards a rune. A rune that I'm pretty sure we've been to before. Yeah, Lost Library Outpost. We have discovered a few of these little... Um, Usually what they mark are animal dens, but we haven't seen much in the way of animals other than the occasional swamp raptor, which is uh, obviously not what we're looking for. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I'm not going to give up yet. But, um, well, you know what? Maybe we could head in the direction of this here just to see if there is anything interesting that could be around here still. Uh, we can actually see a lot of those things from here. There are skeleton repair kits which are worth a fair amount and are actually worth something to us at the moment. The skeleton eyes are worth a fair amount as well. So you know what? I think we could do a little bit of uh, looting while we are here. We're going to be joined by these, uh, these swamp raptors. You know what? That's okay. So I'm going to go ahead, filter through everything here, and I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so Sand actually has quite a few things on him. Power Core, Skeleton Eye, so some good stuff. Not half bad. The Skeleton Repair Kits obviously sell for a lot as well. Still kind of good for us to hold on to some of them. We are going to start sneaking. Um, he's not going to be anywhere near as good as he usually is. We could just go like that, and then his sneak should be a lot better. Although I think, yeah, his encumbrance might be taking him down a little bit there. That's fine. You know what? We'll just go ahead and stick with what we're usually at. And uh, for some reason, his lock picking is so much lower here. Or rather, this is a really like tough lock. We have actually unlocked this before. But um, yeah, this is going to give him a chance to actually improve his skill further. So he'll get even better at lock picking. So I think with this try, that might actually bump us over the edge. Yep, there we go. And it was a successful pick as well. So let's see if anything comes running out at us. Okay, no. And yeah, so we have some books. Um, we can grab the books because we, yeah, we might as well. The old maps aren't going to give us anything, I'm pretty sure. Um, and the rest is parchment. Yeah. I'm going to double check with the old maps. Let's see. Yep. Useless. I am kind of hearing something moving though. <sighs> Maybe it's just my imagination. Uh, we do have another lock over here. That one's a lot easier for us to grab. Um, it's definitely his backpack as well. 
that's uh, making him no good at stealth, but really, I'm, I'm okay with him not being great at stealth right now. But what I'm happy about, my friend, is that you found this stuff here. You've also got uh, a few other locations for us. Ancient labs, ancient military documents, and some ancient science books. So, you know what? We didn't get any meat, but this has still been good so far. We've got two new locations on our map. Uh, both of them in the far north. We have a ruin there, and we have an outpost up there. Lots of things for us to explore in the world of Kenshi still. Is there anything else locked here? We do have a small crate. Okay, let's go ahead and investigate it. Sometimes these small things I just miss out on because um, they are quite small and they're difficult to see. All right, let's move up onto the next level. We are going to quick save just in case we have any shenanigans, but I think we're okay. Um, yeah, and we have some more small crates here. Okay, we have just a, a book in that. We'll go ahead and pick up that book. It's free science, baby. Okay, gears parchments damage books press gears yeah nothing great there but we will check the station this medical no we'll just go ahead and loot it you good to do that bud loot nothing in it that's fine um okay oh this is unique spider factory okay <laughs> this is a unique treasure map uh we'll take the lever okay but yeah, spider factory. Hmm, that sounds like a whole heap of fun. Let's see, where is this spider factory meant to be? Right far on the east coast. Well, that's something for us to consider. Ominous place. I just love that it's called ominous place. Is, yeah. I mean, if you're gonna name something, it's good. Katun. That's somewhere we've got to go eventually as well, considering like what everything, everything's effectively named after Katun. So we've been to Clown Steady, but we haven't been that far down. Yeah. Oh, we got some travels to do. We have definitely got some travels to do. Um, we're actually, yeah, we're quite close to Shark. I think we'll probably end up just running there after the last of this like little exploration. But we'll see what else we can find here. There are these little displays that might have ancient science books or have more engineers maps so that one was another unique one but uh didn't give us anything else that's okay see i think i missed these locations last time i came through here Ooh, sam's actually having a hard time taking some of my requests loot you uh yes please sure and another lost armory excellent um there we go another well construction completed fantastic whoever they are they're kind of moving around i thought the exile camp had actually disappeared then for a second uh oh quite close to desert city ah nice uh we do need to go back to desert city at some point really because we missed out on a factory that was there <laughs> what, what were you what were you ex expecting me to do um I, I honestly, I don't look at any information behind the scenes and I would never have thought to check the top level. I just never, never would have thought it. Never would have thunk it. Um, so yeah. Nothing else here. Okay, so that's the lot. And I've got to say, I'm pretty happy with the haul that we've got from this. Pretty happy indeed. But yeah, I think we'll probably end up sending Sad Neil uh, on a little bit of a run eventually back towards there. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, there are still some books here, but I think overall that's probably all that we're going to get. So I'm going to get Santa run back, regroup with the others, and then, well, I think we might look at having a run on towards Shark, because there, at the very least, we're going to be able to sell off some of our goods, and along the way, I'll see if we can find ourselves any turtles. Okay, we found something, but it's not turtles, it's freaking spiders, and oh crap, they're coming at us in the water. Worst place that we could possibly be right now, there's a good chance that some of us are going to go down, um, because they can attack us while we're in the water. I think poor Dogmeat is actually taking some attacks already. Um, can we do anything? We're still kind of halfway in the water and we cannot see the enemy. That makes things very dangerous. Come on, get out the water, get out the water. We saw it for a second, the second that we can see it. There we go. I'm gonna go attack all. 
He's in the water. So Dogmeat and Bonnie seem to be able to attack, but we can't attack it while it's in the water. This is why they can be incredibly dangerous. We just need to get everyone out of the water. Bonnie is trying to fight here. Ouch. Come on, Bonnie. Time to rock. Get back, get back, get back. Okay. Bonnie, get out that water, girl. Okay, here we go. Now, everyone, I want you to attack. Bonnie, you can jump in on that. Okay, nicely done, Bonnie. <laughs> Looks like we didn't actually need to in the end, but Bonnie definitely did take the brunt of that attack. Stubbs running in there as well to make sure the body is okay and also to make sure that this blood spider does not come back. Dog meat. Yeah, your poor leg. Ouch. That's going to slow dog meat down, slow Bonnie down a little bit, but you know what? We've made it so far without any spider attacks. And that's a little surprising for being the swamp, you know. We expect that a little bit more frequently. But now, with those passed back up, we are going to attempt to continue that run. We might just have to go in a different direction. At this stage, we're pretty much smooth sailing into Shark. Yeah, we are here. We know that uh, it is still a little dangerous inside the town, though. Um, blitz spiders do run in, and... Uh, well, yeah, I mean, they're, they're a little little bit on the dangerous side. Uh, but we are going to have a look at the bars to see if we can maybe recruit some folks while we're here. Um, we'll go into the marketplace, first of all, with just sand to see if we can sell off some of these goods. Because, um, well, I mean, no real point in us holding on to them. So let's have a chat, see what we're going to be able to do here. You've got some... Yeah, okay, well, we can't sell them for... for too much but we can get rid of something here we might be able to get a better price elsewhere for the power cores so we'll hold on to them for now but that's uh that's a few thousand cats just right off the uh, off the bat so i'm happy with that we could look at buying some fabric here but really it's not going to go all that far uh and plus i really want us to be supporting our own fabric industry we really need to just have just tons more hemp uh, so with that, let's look at grabbing everyone and moving along. Uh, we want to keep our eye out for blueprints as well, because there might be some special things that we can get here that we won't be able to get elsewhere that we didn't have access to before. But uh, yeah, let's see what we can make out in here. We'll go to the bar straight away, and then we'll have a look at um, having a chat with some of the others. We'll let them stand by the door looking all badass-like. Um, so let's see. We just have questions, and we just want to trade. We could go purchase some meat here. We might just have to. And you know what? In the end, 89% ain't too bad. We'll go ahead and sell off. I think that's going to be everywhere in the town, so we'll just accept it. But let's see. Do we have anyone that we can have a proper chat to? Okay, you're from the Hounds. Right. No one else that we can really... We've just got a, we've got a, a thug. I'm pretty sure we can just hire the thugs. Everyone else doesn't really seem to to want to have a chat with us. We do have Bargook over here from the Drifters, who has a little bit of experience with um, martial arts. Kind of cool looking. And we do need extra people, so let's go have a chat with Bargook here. Bargook is his name? Yeah. Hey, you need yourself a gunner? I promise you I've got good eyes. Eyes of a hawk. Been man and turd since before I spouted a beard on my face. Hmm. Actually, that's exactly who I was looking for. Maybe it's, uh, fated. Well, how much? Pay me once. Six thousand cats, and I'll follow. But, I hope you got good food. Maybe a good drink, too. Sounds like a deal. You're hired. Welcome, Barguk. Barguk, yeah, I like the name, and uh, you're a, you're a thin-looking dude, but um, yeah, we're gonna keep you as is, and I think we are gonna stick with Barguk for now for the name, and uh, yeah, sure, we'll take you as you are. You're unique-looking enough, <laughs> most certainly, uh, and I think you are the only person in here that we can really recruit. We will have a look at some of the other bars. But let's go, for now, across to one of the other shops and just slowly start to work our way around. So we have the Explorer's Shop over here. 
I say Explorer Shop. What is it actually called? Uh, it is called nothing because I can't select it. Nope, I can't select the sign. The, the sign, yeah. So Sand, you go over here to run in. Everyone else can just chill here for now. We'll try and... Yeah, there we go. I know you're a big boy, Sand. You can make it inside. Right, let's see. Show me your goods. Oh, you do have... Oh, okay. Now we're talking. We don't We don't own these ones. Ninja pants. Yes, please. Square goggles. Yeah, definitely. Uh, leather turtle make. Holy crap. Finally. Finally. So, what we've really been lacking is this here so most of us just have regular shirts on underneath but leather turtlenecks which we are going to be able to make specialist grade are going to be our standard armor protection underneath before we kind of start using chainmail so hell yes we're spending money on that definitely more than happy to um anything else that we want to get here not really no can we just sell you this we certainly can excellent all right i'm happy with that yeah we're looking good. We're looking fine. So we'll go ahead and learn all of those. Yes, please, all around. Um, and yeah, I mean, the goggles, I'm pretty sure it is just on, it's on head, right? Yeah, unfortunately. It'd be great if it was like another accessory, but uh, I mean, gives you good dust storm protection and perception bonuses. Were you lying? No, you were not lying about turrets, my friend. Perfect. Well, this this fellow here, Barguk, um, our cowboy is going to help um, help Green by watching by watching our gate uh, on the other tower. Um, so he's going to be a great addition for us. That's exactly who we were looking for. It's kind of creepy that we found that person. Uh, so Sant, let's head into here. We'll see what we can find, and then we will check out one of the other bars. So we have that bar there, and this is the Red Sabers. No, it's the Hounds. Yeah, the Red Sabers are actually. We've seen their faction HQ before, and they're not exactly friendly. So. Yeah. Um, oh dear. We have some strange happenings going on here. Because air- Oh, right. See what I mean about the movement? So Sand is going to move like a snail. <laughs> while he was moving with the others. Because they're going for a swim. Uh, is there no- Is there no one in here? Oh, this isn't the store. That's why. Well, that explains that. Alright, weapon shop. What do you got? Uh, you are a weapon shop person? Where is the weapon shop person? Why aren't they here? Um, oh, you're right. You're literally right in front of me. Somehow I missed you. So let's get down to business. All right. <laughs> we'll defeat some Huns. Okay, what do you have here? Ring sabers, which we already know, and we already know sabers in general. You have a pretty decent robotic arm here. Eh, that's okay. And um, ranger. That's kind of cool. I really would just like you to have more uh, blueprints, really. Yeah, that wouldn't be half bad. Uh, we aren't going to purchase anything else from you, however tempting that might be. The samurai leg pants are extremely expensive. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to grab our group and we are going to go head on over into the last bar. And I don't think you're a shop over here, are you? Nope. Nope, we have looked at all of them at this stage. So after that, we are going to be running back, um, unfortunately, not without the food. Uh, or rather, without the food that we were hoping to find along the way, which is really not so great. So, we do have some folks here that we might be able to recruit. Um, I think the first of which being uh, Nermo here, who is just kind of like a standard recruit, really. Um, someone that we might be able to use in the uh, Leaf District, quite possibly. Looks like these are lots of mercenaries, really. Um, okay, a pacifier from the Holy Nation. We'd have to pay them a whole lot. And that's the mercenary captain. Uh, Gristleflap, that's a really neat name that you've got there. <laughs> and uh, Crag. <clears throat> Great names, really good names, in fact. Um, and there's three of them. Do we want to bring three extra people on? Hmm, quite possibly. Okay, uh, you might notice that things are a little bit different. Unfortunately, I just had a full-on blue screen, which is a strange occurrence for me. But uh, I'm going to see if I can get things back to where they were effectively. And I'll be back in a moment. Okay, we have Bargok, and thankfully all of those blueprints were there. We are going to chuck in a nice big quick save after all of that. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I don't know if we want to pick up any of the extras. I, I'm not settled on it, and... Uh, 
yeah. It's still a decent cat investment. Right now, I feel like I'm happy with everyone that we've got. So, Bargak, you are going to be coming along with us. But this is all that we can really do in the town right now. We've got some ancient science books to come back with us, which that's a great bonus. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're going to have a look in anything else. Although, that rune is tempting because it is, well, it's around here. And it shouldn't be too difficult for us to get through. I think we might be able to move through that pass there. We'll find out soon enough though. Our troop are wanting to run on out of here. And it looks like everyone else is on the run as well. Which means that uh, probably more than likely there is some kind of attack happening. So we'll just try and move everyone throughout the town. If we can. Oh, right, yeah. There's a fight happening inside. Ah, it's just a bar fight. We won't get included in that. But we do want to head out the opposite side. And start to head in the direction of that rune. So let's go jump ahead. And just more bloody swamp raptors. No turtles yet. No turtles at all. And we do have trouble in the form of some blood spiders that are following us. Whether or not they're actually going to be able to keep up with us though, I'm not so sure. As long as we don't have any big stints in the water, we should be okay. And so far we're looking like we're alright. If they do get any closer, ah, uh, they've given up. We're good for now. On towards the passage and, uh, oh, okay. This is a interesting passage to say the least. Maybe a little bit frightening. And look at that. Finally. We're on the outskirts of the bloody swamp. That's where we end up finding them. And it's only two of them, but we have swamp turtles. Yes, as you can see their attack isn't amazing. So we should be able to take them down. But yeah, this is, uh, interesting to say the least it's like a giant boneyard these ancient creatures that died here long long ago but we want to get into position to be able to attack these things i'm not so concerned with us um having our backpacks on but i think bargok we could you know what just use your martial arts for now i'm sure you'll be okay or we could just tell you to be passive and just kind of hang back yeah, we could kind of select everyone else. Gary, let's not include you in this. We're going to go ahead and attack unprovoked. We can see the other one is moving in. Bargok is staying back. And we should be able to take care of them pretty damn quickly. Ridley, might be better for you to attack this one here. As, uh, yep. They, they can get some attacks in. Oh, Gary has decided to jump in. Get involved. Hopefully, we'll take this other one down before long. Yep easily enough i'm sure it does sting now sand let's go ahead and pick that up in 14 that is fantastic excellent and that's just from one of them and from the other yes brilliant okay well this trip to the swamp has most certainly been worth it so far Bargok, don't worry i'm not going to forget about you we'll just uh, do a few more of these just things seem a little bit a little, little less stable on my computer today yeah, this region, this region is... Yeah, it definitely stands out in the swamp. Hmm, the ruin is further on still, but uh, yeah, there's just something about this place. Unsettling. There's nothing else growing on here as well, just uh, an old abandoned boneyard. Hmm. Well, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for those lovely big swamp turtles because well we could do with our bags full on the way back if possible okay we can see the rune from here i don't know what to expect we also got more of this kind of open terrain here more swamp raptors roaming about in the distance so let's just uh take this a little cautiously if we can i think it's probably worth us having the rest of the group Moving towards it. Ah, yes, okay. We have a blood spider so far. Just the one by itself. That's doable for us. And with the sun actually setting, we have a much better chance to remain hidden. Other than, of course, Bonnie's light. Yeah, let's see if Sand can just start to sneak up in that direction. Um, 
Let's go just uh, do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And your stealth is a lot better. 43, but he's quite encumbered. That's okay, buddy. You're making less noise. Let's just poke our head in here. Okay, we're seeing bones. We've got a guardless katana, a skeleton repair kit. Okay, the guardless katana up there is a standard one. Which is, uh, you know, well actually, maybe it's a little bit better. Because it's kind of like green. Uh, oh yeah, model mark one, which is what we got. Green, blue, I'm being dumb. Uh, damaged books and some fabric. Uh, we can go upstairs. I'm not, I'm not entirely blind. Sometimes I am. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what awaits us here. We'll just ease our way up. The bones being there is a little unsettling. It makes me think that this is some kind of den. Okay, no, there is nothing on this floor at all. Okay, what about the top floor? Again, nothing? Intriguing. Yeah, it's just empty, because sometimes things don't load in right away. Uh, but yeah, no, this place has been cleared out long, long ago. Infested lab. Well, th thankfully, it's not infested right now. Oh, okay, yeah, there is still one that's kind of hanging about, though. So maybe let's just see what it's going to do here, Sand. Okay, start roaming. Get you heading down. Um, that's fuel there. It hasn't noticed you yet. So let's try and keep it that way if we can. It's just kind of patrolling. We could try and just swim around the back, but I think we'll be able to make our way around it. We can probably just jump this thing if we if we really need to with everyone else. Sand won't really have a chance to assassinate it. No, he can't even assassinate it. Uh, I think you can just assassinate people. Assass assassinating animals would be a little strange. <laughs> Okay, well, we've made it back together, and Sand, you can go ahead and put your clothes back on. And you can maybe give that guardless katana to our, to our new friend. Go ahead and open up your backpack, bud. Get nice and dressed again, and we'll trade with Barguk. I know who uses ranged weapons, but, you know, maybe this is going to be better than you just using your fists. Sure, we'll go with that. Well, we'll get you out of sneak, and yeah, we are going to be roaming back towards home at this stage. Uh, I will try to keep my eye out um, as we're running back to see if we can encounter any more swamp turtles. I think this is probably just uh, swamp raptors. No, it's the swamp ninjas attacking them. But yeah, this group, we're going to roam back together. I'm going to check in on home to see how things are, but for the most part, I'm going to stay watching here so that we can keep our eye out for all kinds of creatures and obviously we know how quickly things can turn here in the swamps oh <gasps> yes 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 there we go i had my eyes peeled i tell you i had them peeled and we have seen three in the distance okay well we know what we need to do we need to try and head on over in their direction which uh, is easier said than done and we might end up getting a little bit injured in the process. Dog meat uh, deciding to go the longer way around. But we, we'll be able to involve pretty much everyone in this once we actually get up onto the land. Dog meat won't be here for the initial attack, but uh, we'll see how this works out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say attack all, just so that they can actually spread out their attack a little bit more. And uh, again, we could take off the backpacks, but right now, having that little bit of extra, um, you know, deficit isn't actually all that bad for us. Yeah, you see we get those attacks in so quickly on them. They can attack in really big arcs, but they are such slow attackers that we aren't going to have much trouble taking these things down. Bargook does have a blade, but we still have him set to passive. And dog meat. Dog meat, you really tried. <laughs> you really tried. All right, so Sand is going to get continued. He's going to continue to get weighed down here. Poor sucker. Um, with lots and lots of meat, which is fantastic. However, we're only a few hours away from the Sheik uh, arriving. So, 
yeah, um, Oren, we're going to need you with your backpack to go and uh, grab the rest here. So it's a lot of meat, which will help, but we're going to have to give a whole heap of our stuff to the Sheik when they arrive. We are going to try to uh, keep some of it outside if we can. Uh, who knows, actually, we might make it back in time. We might just make it back. So we'll gather everyone together, we will put in that quick save, and we'll start to try and head on back home once again. In that general direction. Sometimes we do get a little stuck like this. Okay, I think we might have to go back to this little stretch of land here. Uh, dog meat included. Dog meat, please do. Oh, materials trader. Okay, well, I don't know if the materials trader is going to have everything we need. Oh yeah, it's your poor leg, isn't it? Oh no, you're going slow at the moment because everyone else is going slow. Yeah, so if I put dog meat on run fast, you'll be able to get through there. Easy as. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's very quick in comparison. Very, very quick. Everyone else is very slow getting up that water. So once we're all out of here, we're all together, we'll try and path that way again. And they seem to be having a little bit of trouble, so I'm going to see if I can help them on out. Okay, we have made it out. Yes. And it looks like a dust storm is kicking up. Yeah. Well, we'll be able to make it easy enough. And yes, a, uh, well, they are on their way as we speak to collect from us. So, yeah, we've, uh, we've got that to look forward to. We should be able to make it through here as a team easily enough. We have some slave mongers, but they really shouldn't give us any trouble. Stubbs, for some reason, is trying to make it on his own. You're gonna be okay there, buddy, right? Yeah. It seems like there's a little bit of uh, discussion going on here about leadership, but uh, <laughs> we'll leave them to that. We need to prepare back home. Yes, um, most people are kind of just hanging out at the moment. Hanging out in the bar, not doing all that much, but that's okay. That's all right. They're running out when they do need to do things, but yeah, Park really isn't able to do too much because we are still at that fabric deficit at the moment, uh, which we should be able to overcome, but we are going to need to try and find a way to um, lessen the impact they're going to have on our food stocks. So let's go into here. We're going to go and take some of this for ourselves. We're going to take half because here's the thing. They are not going to take... Oh, what What in the hell? Did you just put that back in the other one? You did. Okay, Park. I appreciate what you're doing there, buddy. But uh, we need to keep that for us. And they get to keep the other half, okay? Yeah? Good. All right, I'm actually going to turn you off jobs right now. And I wouldn't mind if you could... Uh, We'll get you to go hide out in the hills, and we'll see if this will work out for us or not. Yeah, and what we're probably going to do is once they arrive, we're going to get everyone off jobs, just so that we aren't producing more food while they're here. Okay, I think that's them actually turning up. Yep, so Park, <laughs> how about we go get you to uh, sneak behind here? I know Park would really feel amiss in doing this, but... And they actually kind of saw him sneaking up in the hills there. Okay, he is hidden. And they're close. But we should also be close as well. So we might not want to be, you know, arriving right away. Who do we have over there? A little hard to tell, actually. We do have a group out there. I think it's just more bone dogs. Oh, no, goats. Well, goats. We can do something about them. Um, we can't quite reach them from here. I wonder. Yeah, let's actually ask, let's ask our team here to see if they can attack these goats. But, I mean, it's, it's from such a distance, I'm not quite sure how that would work for us. <laughs> I guess we'll find out, won't we? Because, uh, wh where the hell are they? Okay, Park is under attack from what? Oh, from Bone Dogs. You can actually defend yourself pretty well, my dude. I think you'd be able to handle yourself here. I mean, yeah, they're adults, but uh, yeah, I reckon you've got this. Um, oh, we're back. We're back already. I didn't realize that. Okay, well, yeah, let's definitely get our travelers to head out there. Because, um, yep. 
We don't want to be here when the others arrive. But Park, he is in combat. And uh, he's decided to use blades yet again. Because um, <laughs> even though he didn't have some when I left, of course he's going to go ahead and create some in between. And uh, yeah, he's actually taken a little bit more damage than I would like. And I think he might be stunlocked. Come on, Park. There we go. There we go. Dodge and weave, buddy. Dodge and weave. Yeah, they just attack so quickly, even when you are very good at martial arts. It would seem that, uh, yeah, our poor buddy is still taking more, more damage than we'd actually like. God damn. Yeah, they must just be right outside now. Yep, the tribute, return for tribute have arrived. Okay. Yep, you have returned. We realize this. We recognize this. Uh, I would hope that we didn't drop off all of our raw meat to here. We didn't. Okay, that's good. But yeah, poor Park is wounded. We'll actually need some assistance. So we are going to get him to just start running back inside. And Bargok here. <laughs> Seems you're the newbie who's still kind of hanging out. Um, we'll get you to go and have a chat with him. Can you do that for me, my dude? I don't know if you can. I think you're actually stuck. Yeah, unfortunately, buddy, you have somehow managed to get yourself trapped in a wall. Don't know how he did that. I really don't know how he did that. But he managed somehow. Remen, go have a word with them, please. Oh, you know what? I mean, bloody Park's going to get there in time, isn't he? Yeah, sure. Park and have a word with them again. <laughs> Just kind of bleeding. You can have a go. Okay, so let's see. How did the goats turn out? Um... It looks like this is a... Uh, oh. Wandering Assassin. Protecting allies. Shouldn't be thieves. Okay, they still love us. That's good. Um, how about... How about we stop doing that now? Can we disengage? Oh, oh no, hang on. He was helping us. It wasn't the Shinobi Thieves goat. The Shinobi Thief was just helping us attack the goats okay now i thought for a second that this random one might have been <laughs> the goats might have been following the shinobi assassin but no they were just roaming around doing their thing um hmm, what do we have hanging outside here um take whatever we owe and they're on their way now park did they uh i don't suppose they managed to access now they're running in to check the stores uh we've got copper sitting out the front okay Park, just, um, we might need you to self-tend here, buddy. Let's have a look at that backpack real quick. Okay, that's good. You're right, bud. Uh, go ahead and first aid yourself. I think you're okay. All right, back to the travelers. Let's see how it went over here. Looks like we were successful. Okay, that's good. Uh, Oren, can I get you to, uh, go and acquire some goods here? Okay. Goat number one and goat number two, thank you. Excellent. Okay, well that's good for us. We're just going to stay out here a little bit longer. And yeah, like I said, we are going to take everyone off um, jobs just for a second or two. Jobs and the Caton District, same thing there. So everyone's going to stop jobbing. They're going to run through here. They run into the bar. They ransack the place. They take our food. Um, oh! Hello, the materials trader has arrived. Well, I guess seeing as you're still out here, Park, do you want to go and have a chat with them? Um, we might actually be able to trade off potentially some of our really nice armor that we've been creating. Um, yeah. We'll have a look at that. Let's see, what do you have for supplies? Okay, well, obviously materials, that's great. I always, I always think there's a chance that they're going to have some fiber to trade with us. They don't. That's okay. So we'll just have a look at our armor, or rather our excess. Uh, we've got some nice samurai cloth pants coming in here now as well. But we're going to go ahead and trade off some of these. And what percentage are we getting for the sale here? I think it's just 100%. Yeah, so we're looking at 15 for each of these. No room for that item. Oh, did you just put that in your inventory? My bad, my dude. My bad. Okay, so we do have a specialist here. The specialist I think we're going to try and hang on to. Although they can get us a fair few cats. Uh, we'll have a look over here. See how we're doing. We've got some more high grade. Fantastic. Um, 
Arrange. Ah, yeah, obviously, so you can only take so much with you, which is realistic. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, we're good with that. We're good with that. We don't need fuel or anything else like that right now. We'll go ahead and accept that. Yeah. So you can be on your way, and eventually, this lot will be on their way as well. They're, they're heading out now. Um, yeah. Well, I feel like that went okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And they're going to be returning... Uh, Return for tribute in five days. Yeah. Okay, so every kind of every five days they come for every five, six days. And the bandit demands are gonna be here in eleven hours. Well, ain't that something? That's okay. Um, yeah, they kinda of ran back in again. Can you guys just uh head on out, please? We shouldn't be producing any food at the moment. Um, kinda of nice that we have some of our folks just chilling up here, having a good time. Just uh standing with your legs hanging through the thing, Ruka. <laughs> as long as you're not stuck. Uh, speaking of stuck, um, Park, can you come help out our new friend who's just uh, decided to join us and has also decided to get stuck in here? Because I think if we go to pick him up, we will be able to uh, save him. Please, if you would be so kind. Um, you're still aimless? Okay, well, let's get you over here and see if we can save him. Operation Rescue Barguk. There we go. You are now free. Just uh, watch out for that little spot there, bud. And look at him go. Look at him go. Where, where is he going? We don't know. He's going to sit around. That's okay. Oh, stop it. We we actually aren't producing anything else. Um, I think I might just lock the gates. Because if they keep on doing this, it's a bit on the nose. Um, you aren't one of them, I think. Oh no, maybe you are. Just shake, warrior. It's it's kind of difficult to know. Retreating, patrolling around town, yeah. So the ones that are retreating, they can get locked out. Everyone else can can stay, which means that our other friends are just gonna have to stay outside for now. All right, close up shop, and we're gonna get everyone back to work effectively. So all of you, you can go back to your jobs. The Iron District, you can start doing your thing again. And same thing with the Leaf District. No, you're not coming back in. I'm locking these doors. Um, you've had enough time. Yeah, they've had enough time. Oh, really? You're going to attack my gates now? You've got to be kidding me. Alright, well, they're not aggressively attacking us, but still... Is it because Park dropped off? No, Park shouldn't have. Yeah, he can't drop off any food, so I don't know what's going on there. I th it's because Kedgy went back to producing food again. How long are they going to do this for? I I I'm, I'm just intrigued. Do they have like a set amount that they take? Or like, what's the deal? Because if they just hang around for... And just keep on hanging around, we're going to have a problem. Go on, get out of here, leave, be gone. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Such bullies. Farm trader. Okay, well, you... I doubt... Again, I doubt you'll have fabric, but... Sure. Okay, I think they're actually gone now. I think they just kind of teleported away. Or they just ran back inside again. One or the other. After checking around, I'm pretty sure that we're good now. I actually think they just straight up disappeared. We just have wandering folk now. And wandering folk, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm all good with them being wandering folk. And we have uh, we have everyone just kind of chilling back in here. Barguk having a good time. We're going to get our travelers to head back in as well. They do have their jobs turned on. So with, if they're within range, they'll start helping out and doing things. Barguk, you can you can just, you can do you. You don't have to worry about us. Uh, yeah, so they, they, they took absolutely everything. They don't take half. They take all of your food. So, yeah. Don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I mean, I I know, I know most of you don't want us to go to war, 
with the Shet Kingdom, and I know there are ways that we can kind of make peace with them. That that would be an option. I just don't take well to bullies, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I know, I know it's a tough scenario. I know it's not just uh, it's not just them bullying us, but I feel like their taxation isn't exactly fair. But not many things are in this world, I suppose. Um, Barker and Rosie, you guys are just hanging out. Yeah, pretty much everyone's just chilling out in here right now. There's no real construction work on the go at the moment. Hong will have some animal skins to process once the others make it back here. But uh, our man Park, he's going to bed. Oh, he's resting over here. That's Ridley's shack. She won't be happy to see you in there. Uh, but I think we might be able to transfer most of this food back in. So at the very least, our team will have something to... Uh, feed themselves with. Out of range. Okay, how about you run a little bit closer there, Park, and then I promise I'll let you rest to your heart's content. Because he is a little bit damaged. There we go. Dust Witches, you can all go into there. And I know that'll be very appreciated. Okay, as for the weapons, um, we definitely need to try and get those to other folks as well. All right. Nice, everyone's here now. Gary, did you have anything on you? You just had some dust witches, okay. Uh, but the others that have the raw meat on them, we're actually gonna deposit those into our feeding trough. Uh, and the reason being, we can't eat raw meat. So that means that we won't run along and just start eating from it. So it means that it is for the animals only. We'll get Oren to run over here as well. We'll deposit off those skins. And you know what? I think it's time we start advancing time. Once again, time to advance time. And we have our man Barguk up here looking out with good old green, keeping an eye on our border here. I'm liking it. It's good. It's good. And I am continuing to expand our hemp fields down here because we're always in need of, well, more and more of that fabric. And we're going to need more and more of those fields to start uh, taking up this area here. We have quite a few of us who are just kind of on hold for now as well because uh, we are kind of topped out on our iron. So yeah, we don't have much use to the plates right now. We have a whole heap of steel stockpiled, so really that's looking pretty good. So I think having a poke around here by the exiles might be in order in a moment or two. You might be able to see that we have uh, reasonably large numbers running out here in front of the town. Uh, this is our, well, this is our expedition group that are going to be heading out towards where our exiles are. Now, while we are away, there's a high chance that the bandits' demands, the dust bandits, are going to be heading on over towards us as well. So we need to keep our eye out for them. We might even be able to kind of head them off before they reach our location. But yeah, we'll see in just a moment what is out here. And right away, well, we've got some bone dogs. And I feel like there's enough of us here to uh, <laughs> to attack them, but we'll try and keep everyone together if we can. And I think in this instance, we're actually going to help, help park out a little bit here. He does have those blades with him still. Uh, but yeah, we're going to give him a little bit of help. Get that backpack off him. And we are going to attack target. And then once we're in close enough, once actually everyone's engaged, we are going to attack all. Okay. Yeah, we're seeing lots of green now. There were a few attacks that came through there at the start, unfortunately. Looks like they went straight for Hong as well, being one of our ranged fighters. Green firing from very, very far away. It's a little concerning. Okay, well, we'll let them deal with them and then deal with uh, medicking each other. All right, so let's go ahead and grab sand. Don't let the wound fester. Yeah, that's uh, the sound, sound logic there, my friend. But we'll go ahead and pick up some more, some more meat for our friends. I think the animals are going to be set for a decent while after this last hunt. But really, it doesn't take much to uh, get them, you know, filled up. I think one trip to the swamp every so often to get a few swamp turtles down. We're looking pretty damn good. So, having a look at things here, yeah, I mean, it's quiet. 
there's no one here. Like, yeah. I know there were some of you that were saying importing saves can, like, reset all of this, but, uh, yeah, there's no one here. Not a soul. Um, yeah, and we can't actually access any of these barrels either, can we? We can't access this one here. And there is, uh, there's nothing. Okay. Well, cool. I guess, <laughs> I guess that's that. Um, now we can see, I think, that that is the bandit camp there. That's a wolf den. Interesting. Okay, well we are going to start moving our way back home. That could either be... That could be the farm trader that's on their way. Yeah, could well be. Green, you're included in this. Make it back towards the city, buddy. And we're going to get everyone back on their jobs. The Iron District and the Ketun District can go back to doing what they do best. Hopefully Green and uh, Barguk actually end up on the same sides that they were before. I don't know if we can 100% control that, but yeah. And yeah, that's the uh, that's the traders on their way here. Nice to see that they're running with great speed to get towards our gates. Sand, you're a little bit further back, a little bit encumbered. That's all right, we'll get you to have a chat. With the hivers, the farm traders. What have you got for us? Show me your wares. You've got quite a lot of hemp. That's good. We could actually use that just to help get things planted. So I would like to purchase that if that's possible. Um, we just might need somewhere to store it. And that's going to be easy enough for me to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get that stuff done. Awesomely, our food storage over here is actually at capacity. So our, our animals are going to be doing perfectly fine for a really good long while. So I'm, I'm very, very happy for them. Good for them. I, I am going to put these over here for now, but I'm hoping they won't get immediately processed into, uh, into fabric. But they, they might just. Yeah, that's going to give Hong something to do. Yeah, we've got some more fabric in here. That's good. Hong can get to work. San can get to work. Even Park is working away on those weapons. And speaking of those weapons, we actually need to go and hand, hand in the ones that uh, he keeps on holding on to. Like so. Um, and those boots, well, I don't think you're going to really need some samurai boots, my friend. At least not anytime soon. So we'll go ahead and hand those off. But what we really need to start working on are those leather turtle necks. So let's have a look at placing an order for one of those. So we obviously have our mercenary leather armor getting created here. And over here, we have our samurai cloth pants. So let's just see what can be made where. If we have a look at the leather armor crafting bench, we have the leather turtle neck. Do we have that at the uh, clothing bench as well? Let's see. We do not have it there, so it has to be done at the leather armor crafting bench, and that's fine. I feel like we have enough mercenary leather armor. I do want this last one to be completed, or do I? Uh, nah, we can live without it, but we definitely want these leather turtlenecks to start to get created. Looks like predicted result is high. Yeah, that'll be a good outcome. So Hong is working on that right away. And what was the time? 14 hours that is that's quite a turnaround for that but if we start now we'll have a chance to get it done i'm really tempted to have more than one bench to be able to create them but just like before it does need fabric it does need leather needs the combination of the two we can make that work yeah sure stand i'll give you a chance to actually get around that barrel there you're doing all right samurai cloth pants eh Okay, dude. Good stuff. I'm a little concerned for Gotaga's health right now, but really doesn't seem to mind the heat at all. <laughs> Not one bit. And Gotaga's actually grown up quite a bit. Gotaga is now an adult. Um, yeah, Gotaga, Gotaga used to be the little baby goat, but now all grown up and uh, nice and toasty. <laughs> And the bandit demands are actually on their way, starting a little bit further off by Squin. We usually notice them around about this time, but uh, they are coming from further away. It's going to take them a little while to get here, but I'm hoping they'll arrive soonish so that we can give them a good old-fashioned beatdown. And, uh, well, 
just train up that little bit further. Right now, we are pretty secure in this area. It's really only the Sheik that are giving us some trouble. If we can expand the Leaf District further, then yeah, we could actually feed them. Um, but if they take the full amount every single time, then it's never going to make a difference. It doesn't matter how much we produce at that point then, they'll always take the same amount. Uh, so we might have to do a little bit of testing, a little bit of science to figure out exactly how much they want to take and when. Okay, our folks are being mobilized as we speak. The bandits are on their way here, so we are sending our fighters to meet them. Our job's turned off though. <laughs> Uh, that is for everyone but Green and Bargok, because we definitely want them to uh, stay on task. Everyone else, queue up outside, and we'll get ready for a bit of an attack. Now, with Green and Bargok up the top, there is a little bit of a chance that there might be some friendly fire. It's incredibly dangerous if there is, so we kind of need to watch out for that. And, oh, wow, they've already started firing on them. Uh, no, no hits yet. Yep, 200. 200 we just annihilated someone uh yep just straight up just boom just straight through the stomach and uh yeah we can see that those shots are pretty they're pretty good at what they do <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead with our group that's here we are going to attack all as they start to rush in we'll hope that we don't see any of those negative 200s to ourselves and yeah we did we just saw that gotaga just got absolutely nailed Okay, so let's not kill our little goat, especially when we were just talking about them being all nice and grown up. We're going to call you two off this for now. Um, yeah, I'm going to run you both down here just so that we're not doing that because um, I don't know if it was just Gotaga that took that huge amount of damage, but I'm pretty sure that was more than one of us that, uh, that took that. Okay, how quick do we need to be on Gotaga here? That was straight to the head. It's a critical wound. So we're going to interrupt Park here. And we're going to see if we can get Park to save Gotaga. You should have some medicine. You do, my friend. Where is our goat? Where are you, Gotaga? Let's see. You are in amongst us all here. Oh, you poor little fool. Okay. All right, Park. I would very much like you to do some first aid to Gotaga. Luckily, you were right by them. Let's work on the critical part first. I think Gotaga is the only one that's down. Yeah, it would have warned us if someone was actually dead. And cleaning up the rest of them. These bandits really don't stand a chance at all at this stage. None whatsoever. Even with all of our backpacks on, we defeat them with ease. Now, green... <laughs> Green and the others, they can go back to work. That's just a little frightening. Uh, um, whoops, I just took all of our friends that were on range that, uh, well, actually, I don't think there is much in here. Much of anyone that's on range throughout here. So that's okay. But we do want you to go back to your jobs. Ah, oh dear. Gary, head back inside. And I think one of us should grab, we'll get Hanbu here to grab Gotaga just because if we don't there is a chance that uh, Gotaga might get uh, eaten by something just wandering on past and it's the last thing that we'd ever want to happen. So we'll go ahead and place Gotaga in the bed. Let Gotaga have a nice big rest up. There we go, just like that. Dogmeat, you're staying close to Hanbu. He's a good animal tender, he is. And looking at the rest that are down here, we can see that, yeah, this one here just is just straight up dying. Um, <laughs> if they try to, yeah, if they try to move, it's, it doesn't end up great for them. Uh, those harpoons are absolutely deadly. Hello, wandering assassin from the Shinobi Thieves. A wandering trader. Um, we don't seem to be able to trade with you, but that's okay. Uh, so, yeah. They're not really going to have anything worthwhile us picking up at this stage. It is it is chump chains for us. I feel sorry for this one dead bandit. Well, not dead, but this plain dead bandit who just knows the second that they move that green or bargook up there are going to take them down. Yeah, 
Maybe you shouldn't have tried to attack us. But no doubt they will return again, as they always do. We'll see if they have a planned attack on us at all. Nothing yet, but we do have another tribute in five days' time. Our stockpile of food here for our animals is looking really nice. And inside the bar, we have bounced back with a little bit more food there. But we could always do with some more. Yeah... What are our cooks up to at the moment? Spot's resting. That's perfectly fine. What about Kedgy and Firebone? What are you doing at the moment? Sitting around, which means that there isn't anything to cook right now. And sometimes, sometimes that's okay. Other times we want a lot more coming in. We have a lot of cacti in there. I'm actually pretty happy about that. So much so that we might actually be able to start making a little bit of rum. But rum is, well, pricey. <laughs> really quite pricey it looks like we are more running at a, a bread deficit at this stage which is coming from here this place not being properly processed that's okay we've got wheat straw coming in it'll be in fits and starts so we can see ridley is working the fields now the others are going to be arriving to assist with that that wheat straw will then get taken and processed more than likely with Sad Neil helping us out with that. And oh, we have some more attacks going on here. So I think, I think our friend finally decided to try and stand up and, oh dear, no, it was another one. Oh, yep, they did. And they, uh, they straight up lost their leg. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Real unfortunate. But as you can see, when we have a really large clump of soldiers running in there, there is always a chance that you're gonna have a casualty because if you don't hit, then that miss is going to be, it's going to be deadly. The, the dust boss here doesn't actually have um, any bounty from what we can see. So yeah, not really worth us uh, taking or paying much attention to them. We're going to leave the bodies out front because if we do have some animals running in to try and disrupt our fun, that's actually good for us because then that's them bringing meat to us. We're going to be wrapping things up here, guys and gals. We did a little bit of exploration today. We made it all the way out further this way than we have yet. Um, we managed to get food, food for our animals, which we've needed to do for a while. I am going to want to expand our farming even further all the way up to here. I'm probably going to do that off camera now, just so I can start to get that process started. We need to have a lot more wheat coming in. We need to have a balanced amount of cacti. And as always, we we need more hemp. <laughs> I can never say it enough. We have a lot of hemp, you know, the possibility of a lot of hemp. But we, we seem to go for it very, very quickly. And it takes a whole heap of hemp to make any kind of fabric. So, yeah, it's rough business. But it's one that we're slowly getting better at. With all the water coming in now, I'm feeling pretty good about things. Yeah, I hope you are too. As always, I am open to your suggestions and I think with however yeah with our maxed out building materials and our maxed out iron plates I think we can afford to construct some more buildings and that we are going to be doing I I left this blend and and beer for now just because I'm having a little bit of a think about what we're actually going to get going in that space uh, I know many of you want like a market square and I think that's a fantastic idea even if it's something that I have to make that um, isn't expressly using everything that we have or rather have access to in game we'll be able to work it out I'm hoping there might be some even cooler things further down the research tree with those extra little books that we have there's a chance that we might be able to find some cool stuff but yeah that's been us I've been Rykon you have all been awesome and until next time, stay tuned.